हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो ऑन फैक्ट्री डिजाइन पैटर्न फैक्ट्री डिजाइन पैटर्न फॉल्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ क्रिएशन डिजाइन पैटर्न एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी बेसिक डिजाइन पैटर्न्स दैट यू विल बी यूजिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वन वेरी बेसिक प्रॉब्लम वेयर वील हैव डिफरेंट फैक्ट्रीज फॉर आईफोन स्टैब्लिश इन यू एस ए इंडिया एंड जापान Each each of of these these factory will be producing two type of iPhones, that is iPhone Plus and Pro, and Pro. Of uh, series of product would be following some government norms and according to that, each uh, Pro would be different from uh, USA and India and Japan would be different in very basic functionalities, right? So let's start. uh coding and let's understand how to use factory design pattern for this. for some of you who have just started to understand design pattern and want to refer some book for uh better understanding or some more examples to enhance your skills there i would seriously recommend this orally head first design pattern book for you guys because this is really very amazing book for people who uh want to understand design patterns from the grassroots level I'll put the link in the description down below. You can click on the link and buy the book from there. Now, let's understand the code that I have written because I just wanted to save some some time uh, while recording this video. So I've already created the code for this. So I have created few enums or few constant. I would say that contains the type of product over here. If you can see uh, Pro and Plus. I have few storage options for each of these phones that are uh, available. Then I have created an interface which contains six basic methods, where uh, a few of them, four methods or five methods, are just getting the data uh, of the phone. Now uh, that is getting the phone type, what type of phone it is, what type of storage, screen size, camera size, uh, camera pixel. I would say, uh, what are the type of sims available in the phone now if you know uh, iphone 14 they have dual sim phone so there are different type of sims option uh, in india we have uh, one e sim one physical sim but in usa model both are e sims right so similarly so we want to know what type of sim is uh, sim it does support the product that i am buying uh, installing software doing the packaging so this is basic interface that i have created i have created one struct which would implement all these six seven methods because this these methods are very common for uh, both of these product uh, whether it is iphone 14 pro plus or uh, plus uh, or pro so any of these two product uh, these methods would be common for now so that is why i have created an uh, struct which is actually implementing all these methods so if you can see uh, the struct contains few variables screen size screen uh, camera pixel what is the type of phone storage what is type of sim 1 sim 2 right and then can it turn off the shutter sound yes or no because in japan models you cannot turn off the shutter sound that is a regulation from the government so th those are few few things and i have also created the type of sim that we support so we support two type of sims and we are currently located in three locations across the world so that is why i have created an constants for that as well now i have created these i have implemented the interface in the phone struct which contains the method that is install software the package uh, where it would just log few messages for now that it is starting to package and then the packaging has been successfully done uh it would return the type of phone it would return the storage type and similarly the sim sim type as well so both the sim types are also returned so this is a uh, basic uh, interface implementation now i've created two separate structs which are actually inheriting the phone struct now by inheriting it means that these these uh iPhone 4 uh, iPhone Pro and Plus are also implementing this interface because practically what they are doing is they are in uh, extending or implementing the struct that we have right because in golan we don't have inheritance so this is the way how you can inherit the properties from another struct to the struct so now i've created a uh, constructor functions for both of these uh, phones and if you can see a uh, pro phone contains a screen size of 6 mega 6 uh, inches and camera of 48 megapixel 
and rest all is something that we pass the kind of storage if we can turn off the camera shutter sound or not the type of settings now why i have created uh, uh these variables uh, as input because there are different uh, regions from which we will be calling this constructor so for japan usa india and if we implement some other regions of it and similarly for plus we have different screen size that is 5 inch screen and 12 inch uh, 12 megapixel camera so the, these are the two type of products that we will be using now let's come to the factories that we have so we have basically three factories that is a factory in india a factory in usa and a factory in japan now let's go ahead and first understand the factories uh, okay so i have created a factory interface okay which contains create a fold so only responsibility of the factory is to create a fold so it would ask what is the type of fold and what is the storage right now this fact this factory interface is implemented by three structs specifically for each region so first one is india factory second is japan factory and third is usa factory so all these three should implement this interface right so if you see in usa factory uh when you give the phone type as an input over here i have one small internal factory again inside the usa factory now this usa factory will also have some factory for creating just pro phone or or the plus phone so they can be delegated to different factories as well but let i uh, have kept that simple for now uh, in usa one factory everything has been done so based on the phone type we are creating the actual concrete interface object object for the interface passing in the correct parameter so if you see in usa i am passing both eSIM and we can turn off the camera shutter sound but on the contrary when you go to japan factory there you cannot turn the camera sound off and also in the pro we have one eSIM and one physical but in the plus series we have both uh, physical sim now I, I'm not very sure that if it is true or not in the real world but for, for the example I have done some modification over here now for India we can turn off the camera sound and we have one eSIM one physical sim for the Indian, uh, Indian factory now I also have a store uh, store uh, structure which would have an object of the factory now this store will be referring to a particular factory right to to get its order uh, accomplished right so whenever someone comes to the store uh, so what what would will the store do it would create the order right while creating the order it would ask from the factory the factory to which it is bound to so it will ask that factory to create a for the particular phone type and the memory that the user has asked for and then the store will help the user to install the basic software then it will also package the phone in some uh, box or anything that the store wants it and then the phone is sent to the client or the customer right so this is how our store is implemented now we have three type of stores because we have three type of factories so i've created small small init methods for each type of stores to have basic segregation of concern so i have an init india store where the stores factory that i have initiated it to have is indian factory i have a japan store which has the japan factory and i have a usa store which has a usa factory sorry so now if you if you folk, if you quite uh, closely observe the factory that i have created the the factory object that i have mentioned in the store is starting with a lower case that means anything apart from this package outside this package will not be able to modify the factory uh, of this particular store so they can just use the order function and start ordering from the store so let's start and create an order so what I have done is uh, let me create a store. So so factory pattern. I'll init a Japan store. Init and Japan store. So I have initialized a Japan store. Okay, and now this order. 
this order will uh, actually create the order now I, we don't need to pass the location because we have specifically created uh, our uh, stores so we don't need the location as of now it's of no use so that is why I remove the location and let's remove it from here as well now I created a Japan factory and I ordered a phone that is a pro phone and 128 GB phone now let's run this program and then see what type of sims do we get <coughs> so if you see when I am ordering I get few messages where it says that please wait while we are updating the software for your pro 128 GB then it says that all softwares uh, all softwares are updated for your pro then it says uh, that it is trying to package the phone right and then the package has been completed so now it gives me an log where it says from the japan factory you received a phone which is having camera as 48 megapixel storage as 128 gb screen size 6 inches and the phone type is pro now now if you see we have phone type as pro and you see both the sims are one is e-sim and one is physical sim so this is this is what we expected right now if we give in japan factory or japan store we ask for a plus phone now let's run this so if you see again we are pack we are installing software we are doing packaging then we see that my camera is 12 megapixel screen size is 5 megapixel uh, 5 inches sorry and the sims that we have is both physical sim because in japan factory we established that factory to create plus phones with both physical factory now if i create this as india store and let's log this in india so you see in india also it is again doing the packaging installing software all those common stuff and then you see for a plus phone 12 megapixel camera 5 inches of screen and one eSIM and one physical SIM in the plus phone as well and if you go for a pro series in India only difference that you will see is in the screen size and the camera so if you see screen is 6 inches and camera is 48 megapixel both SIMs are one physical and one eSIM so this is how you have extracted the creation logic of your classes for product or your factory from your actual client and now in case someday you come up and uh, you feel that we want to implement one more factory so you just don't have to do anything you just have to create that factory over here implement uh, the interface for the factory add a corresponding init method for that factory for, for the store corresponding to that factory and you don't have to do any modification in your existing factories or your existing stores so you don't have to worry about testing all those stores or your product or anything so you, neither your product gets hampered while implementing new factories neither your stores existing stores are hampering now if you want to implement one more product you don't have to do anything you just have to implement that you just have to implement the corresponding uh, struct for that and uh, implement uh, and assign the variable values and in the factories that you have definitely now each factory has to produce that code right so definitely you will have to change that logic in every factory so those factories will be open for those new implementation but yeah that's that's a trade-off that we are doing for now in go there so if you like the video if you like the explanation please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel because that gives us a motivation to keep creating the similar content for you guys and please click uh, or please comment down below in our video if you want us to write this code or explain this in a particular language that you guys want us to do it.